This thing will definitely get up and go, that's for sure. No complaints with power. <laughs> oh man, the look on her face. <laughs> Do that every now and then when you're out riding, it's just fun. You get a motorcycle that comes out there giving you a little two finger wave, just fucking wave like Forrest Gump. Just Forrest Gump the wave out of them. <laughs> just like, ah! That shit's funny, it, it confuses the shit out of people. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why is he waving like that? Oh man, that's fun. I entertain myself. I am very entertaining to myself, <laughs> that's for fucking sure. If I can't even entertain myself, what makes me think I can entertain anyone else? I mean, honestly, if you can't entertain yourself, chances are you're probably not going to be able to entertain anybody else either. We'll beat any dill. Well, what do you know? My wiener's name is Dill. <laughs> it's a dill pickle. Well, what's up, ladies and genitalia? Uh, going on a little cruise here on the old Rebel 1100. Got the cruise control set because it's the future. There's a bird in the road. Is that a bird? I think it's a bird. No, it's a squirrel. Hey, get the fuck out of the way, motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're heading into, uh, into Old Ford Oglethorpe, Georgia. You know, get us some burritas. Going to Old Moe's, get some burritas. I'm just gonna sit back, relax. I'm gonna cross my arms. Boop, boop, a doop, a doo. Boop, boop, a doo. Man, I love cruise control. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. The only gripe I have about the cruise control on this bike is they put it on this side. You know how hard it is to keep the throttle turned and reach down and hit that with your thumb and then set it? You have to use your left hand to do it. You're riding, you have to reach over, hit the button, and then set it. Most bikes have it on this side. You literally have a button here, you go boop, boop, done. Like, I don't understand why they didn't put the mode select over here and put the cruise control here. Mode select you can do sitting still, so it doesn't matter what what uh, control it's on, but the cruise control, yeah, you're you're kind of twisting the throttle while you set it. So I mean, I don't know. It's just one of those minor gripes I have about the about the Rebel so far, because it is it does it doesn't make sense to have this the cruise control setting on the the right pod over here. Like I don't, I don't get that, but. Either way, it works. It's convenient. Uh, I can stretch my shoulders. I can uh, pop my back. Uh, I can just relax here with my hands on the tank and just be like, boop -a -doop -a -doo, doop -a -doop -a -doo. and all I got to do is, I mean, this bike has a very sensitive lean already. All I got to do is barely shift my body and I can just steer it like that. I mean, the Dyna, I can't do that. It's too heavy. It's too big of a bike. This one, I can just, just lean back and forth and just go, whoop. Whoop, 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 with no issues. Man, it's fantastic. I haven't even touched the throttle in like two miles. Yeah, I hope the, uh, I got the new, the, the chin, you know, the chin mount on this helmet now. Uh, my last couple of videos that I did, last two or three videos actually, uh, that I did with uh, going to Nick and Jack, they go into the cave and go into Hell's Bar and all that kind of stuff, going to Raccoon Mountain. Uh, I was wearing my old Gringo helmet then uh, because the mount that I had on this one, I'm not sure what happened or what was going on. Maybe it was the tape that was on the the chin mount, like the 3M tape. I don't know if it just didn't it didn't stick right. What happened? But uh, either way, I just replaced the strip of tape and then put the chin mount back on. So I had to let it recure again. Maybe I just didn't let it cure long enough before I put the camera on. I don't know. I'm impatient. So maybe that's what happened. <laughs> So yeah, follow the recommendations and wait the full 24 hours before you put your camera on. Because I think I just didn't wait long enough and I got impatient. And I ended up making the tape loose. So it's nothing on chin mount's fault. That was most likely a fault of mine. So don't let that discourage you if, if you were going to get one of those mounts. Because even if it was the tape that they gave me, 3M tape is not that expensive. You could literally just peel it off and put a new piece of tape on and you're done if you prefer a different kind of tape. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> the mount's still perfectly fine and good quality, so. But, yeah, so I had to wear my Gringo helmet the last couple of times I went out and vlogged. Uh, 
So this one here, I, I had the boom mic that I ran into it. It just wasn't sounding right. I didn't, I didn't like the sound of it. So I ended up putting my lapel mics back in, my, uh, my newer microphone. I ended up putting it back in, so we'll see how that works. And I may need to readjust the camera because I think it may be at, like, aiming down just a little bit. But I can't tilt it back any farther than it is now because it's already hitting the, the chin of the helmet. The uh, actual the air vent. But I'll find out whenever I go to view this footage if it needs to be redone or not. And we'll see. Really wanting to wear these cheek pads in fairly quickly. Because any of you guys out there that wear full faces, especially if you moto vlog or just talk to yourself, you know how exhausting that is on your cheeks because when the cheek pads are squeezing in and actually you know cradling your head the way they're supposed to <laughs> like it makes your cheeks go in between your teeth while you're talking and you tend to bite your cheeks and it hurts your jaw after a while of talking it's like like a hooker that's been blowing dudes for fucking six months straight after taking a 10-year vacation i don't know if any of these people are going to change lanes so i'm going to wait I don't trust people. I could have easily gone just then multiple times, but I do not trust people. I don't trust that no one's going to come through and change lanes right in the middle of the intersection because just because you're not supposed to doesn't mean these people won't do it. And I don't trust people. Hey, easy there, partner. Slow down. They're out in the middle of the fucking road. They're just literally sitting in the middle of the fucking road right now and haven't gone yet. <laughs> Jesus. People are fucking dumb. And that's exactly why I didn't pull out at the intersection back there when the first lane was clear. Because people do stupid shit like that. And this, by the looks of this person's car, they've done some stupid shit like that before too. That's one thing I, I say. I, I do not trust any of these drivers. I don't care who it is. I don't trust them. Do not trust these people. They have a blinker on. I don't fucking care. I'm waiting to make sure they turn. I'm not taking it, that risk to pull out. Because if I did and they have a blinker on, it's still my fucking fault because I pulled out in front of them. I mean, back there, if they would have changed lanes at the intersection, then obviously that's their fault. But still, I don't want to get hit. No matter whose fault it is. Alright, let's see here. We're going to pull into our local neighborhood Moe's. Get us some burritos. Ooh, it's a classic. Yeah, boy. Hopefully they're still open up. They close fucking early now for some reason. Like, ever since COVID, these places have been closing super fucking early. Like, Moe's usually doesn't close... Eh, nothing's over there to park. We'll park over here. But yeah, I know Moe's used to not close till like 9 or 10. Now they close at like 8 o'clock every night. It's insane. Let's go get some burritos, ladies and genitalia. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Just had our bellies full of some good, delicious Moe's burritos. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna head up here to the Walmart market, get us some groceries. Haven't had shit to eat in the house the past few days, so we've been eating, been eating out a little bit, so we're kind of slipping a little bit on our diet. Still haven't had any sugar, so I mean, that's a good thing. I uh, haven't really slipped any on the sugar part, but we've been slipping some on the, uh, on the carb side of it, so. It happens. You slip up every now and then. It hasn't been bad. Like, I mean, it's not like a real bad, like, slip up. Because, I mean, it's only been, like, here and there. I think last night we took the kids to Buffalo Wild Wings. And, obviously, I had just chicken wings. So, I mean, traditional wings, that's not bad for you. It's just chicken. You know, there's no breading or anything. So, I, don't, I didn't really have any carbs besides maybe a few fries. And, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, we just... We had some pizza the other night, which we got the thin crust. So now whenever we get pizza, we always get thin crust because it's, you know, obviously less bread, less dough. So it's a little bit better than getting like the deep dish or the or the regular traditional pizza crust. But yeah, we've, we've had a little more carbs than what we, you know, would like to try to keep it at. So we got to go grocery shopping. We're going to try to do a, uh, essentially like a salad only diet. And we're going to get some chicken. I'm going to grill some chicken on the, the Blackstone. And we're going to try to eat nothing but salads for like a couple of weeks just to see what happens. Eat, you know, salad with grilled chicken and stuff like that. So we're going to try that out, see what happens. Uh, of course, you know, for breakfast, a lot of the times I eat oats. I just have like just the regular 
whole grain oats. Just the regular steel rolled or whatever the fuck they're called, just rolled oats. And then I mix in some like fruits, stuff like that. It makes in some bananas or some cherries or blackberries, peaches or something like that. Okay, why are you stopping? Fucking go. What the fuck are you doing? Move your shit. Just fucking stop in the middle of the goddamn road. And you're doing it again. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, get the fuck out of the way. Jesus Christ, man. I swear, these people. Anyway, we're gonna go in here to the market, get some groceries. Dude, look at that Chevelle. Holy shit. It's fucking rad. Dude can barely get into it, he almost hit his head. Anyway, we're gonna go in here and get some groceries. I shall return. Well, all right, ladies and genitalia. I think that's gonna pretty much do it for the day. Uh, got done eating some some burritos at Moe's and went to Walmart, got some groceries, ran some errands. You join me on my uh, <laughs> on my boring ride day, I guess. But yeah, no ride's a boring ride as long as you're on two wheels. Hey, it might have been boring for you guys, but it wasn't boring for me. We all run over here to the to the vape store and pick up some old old chooch containers, old disposable choochies. And hopefully this audio sounded good enough. Ugh, motherfucker. I guess we shall see. If it sounds good, it sounds good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I guess we will find out. But anyway, I'm gonna run in here to the old Chattanooga Vapor Company. Grab me some disposable chooches. And I'll be right back to uh, tell you guys goodbye. Oh right, motherfuckers! Got my douche flute. It's my little douche flute. You know it, that little douche flute. You know it, that little. Yeah, went and went and got our little. I oh, was still in second gear. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we went and got our little douche flutes and uh, heading to the house. Hopefully, there's enough light out here to where I can finish up a little bit of a video here. Uh, make sure my got got my wallet still. But yeah, I got the. The spearmint flavor, like that's always one of my favorite flavors, is the spearmint and then the, the minty ices and stuff like that. They had this other brand that's made by Torch. I forget what brand it even was, but anyway, basically like the little elf bars. But uh, yeah, I used to do the the actual rebuildable mods and all that kind of stuff years ago. And I uh, used to do the tanks and all that. And I don't know, it just got to be too much trouble, like rebuilding coils, because I used to make my own coils and pack them like you know cotton and all that kind of shit and do the drippers and yeah i mean it's it just got to be too much work <laughs> i just carry around the little little torch bars and elf bars and stuff like that now so just keep it at my desk at work so if i have a a customer that's <laughs> that's being unruly and it stresses me out i have some nicotine there but speaking of work i guess i'll go ahead and uh and and announce this to everybody uh while we still have some daylight left and hopefully the sound is good enough and hopefully the camera angle is good enough otherwise all this is going to be just trashed and i'll have to reboot anyway but uh i ended up getting promoted at work yeah! but uh you know as i stated before i work in uh it's technically in fraud like we stop fraud at the company i work for yeah we have our our department and then the next department up which is basically it's the same department but the supervisors essentially they're the consultants and uh, so that way, you know, if the regular agents get a contact and they don't know what to do with it or they have questions about it, then it comes to the next level up, which is the supervisors, and they advise them what they should do and what they shouldn't do, et cetera, et cetera. And that is essentially what I'm doing now. So I got promoted to, to a supervisor role. So yippee ki -yay. Uh, But yeah, so I got promoted to a supervisor role. Yippee! But uh as of now, like before my schedule, I was off on Fridays and Saturday nights, uh, which is the, the schedule I've had since I started working here. Like two years ago, even when I started off at another location, before I started working at home, I had Friday nights and Saturday nights off. 
well, whenever I got promoted, you know, they just kind of put you in whatever schedule is available on that, you know, night shift. So I ended up getting Wednesday and Thursday. So that's going to be weird because my wife also works there and she's off on Fridays and Saturday nights and I'll be off on Wednesday, Thursday. So we're not going to have any time off together. Plus, uh, I put in a request to have my, you know, to have my shift back to Friday and Saturday because my kids visit on the weekends as well. Uh, so yeah, I spoke to, uh, to one of my leads because I mean everybody no matter what position you're in you're still going to have a lead unless you own the business and even then you still have a lead because it's Uncle Sam huh. but uh yeah I spoke with my lead and I was like hey you know I do have you know my kids visiting on the weekends you know on Friday nights you know I don't have to have the weekends off so I mean I can work Sunday nights that's not a problem but I need to have my Friday nights and Saturday nights off at least so hopefully that goes through to where I can get my Saturday you know Friday Fridays and Saturdays off again I thought that was I thought that was my neutral light for a second. I'm like, how am I riding in neutral? <laughs> but uh, so hopefully that that works out, uh, especially because football season is coming up and my daughter's in band, and this is her senior year. So obviously I don't want to miss any of those games. I mean, I went ahead and let her know, hey, I may miss a game here or there just because if my schedule hasn't changed. Uh, but if it gets fixed the way I, it needs to be fixed, then hell, I won't miss any of them, or at least I'm gonna try not to. Hopefully, let, let, the last time we did that, because we were off on uh, Sundays and Mondays, and we were like, hey, we need Fridays and Saturdays off because, you know, the kids visit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, this, that's the schedule we're just used to because we've been doing it for two years or a year at the time. And uh, it only took them like, like a day, two days, something like that, to get us set up to where we could have our Friday nights and Saturday nights off. So hopefully it takes, you know, only, you know, within a week to get it fixed this time. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get to the house. It's getting dark so you're about to not be able to see anything anyway because I don't have my camera set on night mode or dark mode whatever you want to call it to actually low light whatever the fuck it is I don't have it set up for that so you're not gonna see shit so I'll go ahead and sign out from here so don't forget to like and subscribe tell your friends tell your family tell your nieces your nephews your sons your daughters your dad your moms your grandparents tell them all it's fun for all ages but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.